Hi there, everyone. Today, I'm going to be demonstrating the new Wyland Mouse Throttle from Roco Fleischmann. It's designed to work with the firm's Z21 digital command system, and it also allows you to wirelessly operate your trains using the system's Wi-Fi signal. The thing that I really like most about this throttle is just how it does feel in your hand. It's very ergonomic. I especially like the large speed control knob and the fact that there's no separate direction button. Instead, it uses a center off feature. And also, this, the numeric keypad here has a shift key, so you do have access to all 29 DCC functions or whatever your decoder supports. All right, so to turn on the throttle, we simply press OK. So once the screen comes up, you'll see the address or the library entry, depending on the mode you have set up, of the last locomotive that was run. Um, you'll also see some direction arrows here. And up here, which is very important, you'll see these bars. And that indicates the strength of the Wi-Fi signal. So the main way you navigate through the throttle, it's actually pretty easy, is through a system of on-screen menus. And there are three basic menus with some sub-items underneath them. So to access the menu mode, you just press menu and the arrow together. So we have three main menus. We have the loco menu, which is used for setting up your locomotive library, including new locomotives, etc. We have programming. This is where we work with either programming on the main or using a programming track. What I'll show you first is this is the settings. And this is the actual system settings. This is where we'll look at the things like the Wi-Fi connection. So once you're in the menu you want to be in, just press OK. So we have display, user information, it's fact, different levels of factory reset, stop, info, and here's Wi-Fi. And if I press OK on this, this is where we'll enter the SSID information, or we can search for any available networks. And that shows TP-Link, which is, that's the router that we have with the Z21. Press OK. This is where we can also enter the password for the router, which I've already done, so we won't do that again. But anyway, it's really easy. Once you go ahead and enter that information, you're ready to go. So we'll back out of this. And we're ready to run a train. So we'll go ahead and we'll start our engine by pressing function button 8. And you can start up the bow. To move out, you turn the knob. Our light should come on. And you'll note that headlight control is with the OK button, which has an icon on it. Again, move it to center and it'll stop. And then you move it in this direction. Locomotive moves the other way. Now, there is no consisting menu with this throttle. However, it is very easy to set up an advanced consist just using the manual programmer and programming CV19. So I'll go ahead and do that right now. So again, you'll get back into your programming menu. Do that. Change CV19. And we'll make it 11 for the first two digits of both, both locomotives here. And OK. So that one will be done. Now next, we have to go ahead and get our trailing locomotive. So we'll get out of this. And we're going to flip it around to be fancy. So now we'll go ahead and we'll program our trailing unit. So first we'll enter its address, which is 1175. So we'll go ahead and get into our programming menu. Now, there's a couple different ways we can change the direction of travel for our trailing unit. Um, the easiest at this point would be to take the consist address and add 128, which in this case then would make our consist address 139. Okay. And then that way they should run together, you know, as, as they should. So now that's one way we can change the direction of travel 
for the trailing unit for our consist. However, I'm going to show you another way um, to change the direction of travel which involves using a really neat feature of the programming menu which is called the CV29 programmer. So let's go ahead, I'm going to change CV19 for the trailing unit alt to 11 and we'll change its direction of travel that way. Okay, first step is to go into the programming menu. I'm going to press OK. And we'll get through here to, there's our CV29 programmer. And now what we're going to do is we're going to go through and turn on all of the individual bits that we want on for 1175. So, first thing we're going to do is we'll hit OK. We want it reverse direction, so we press this turnout key and you'll see that little asterisk come up. So that's good. 28 speed steps, that means 28 or 128, which is what we want. Analog mode, we'll just keep that on for now. NMRA, speed tables we're not using. The long address that we are using, so we'll put an asterisk next to that. We have everything set up that we want, we'll press OK. Now we should be ready to run our consist. All right, so now we'll enter our consist address. 11. And we'll move out. For a complete review of the new Rocco Fleischmann Wyland Mouse Throttle, pick up a December issue of Model Railroader Magazine.